Hey guys, and welcome back to Deku Tarot and to your weekly tarot and astrology for May 11th through the 17th of 2020. We've got a lot going on in terms of astrology this week, so let's get right into it here. We have Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn all retrograding um, this week here. So this is going to urge us really to rethink our priorities, our strategies, our relationships, and our desires. Uh, Mercury also moves into Gemini, so it's going to bring up our communication, our interest in communication, and our ability to really um, have a lot of conversations, and we're going to be in the mood to just talk, say what's on our mind, say how we're feeling. We also have Mars moving into Pisces, and we're going to be fighting from a place of really deep beliefs and spirituality there. Uh, Venus, so let's get back into those retrogrades. Venus goes retrograde in Gemini starting this week, and it retrogrades for about six weeks every year and a half, two years. So we, this could bring up a lot of hearing from and reigniting old relationships with past lovers, old flames, people that, you know, we haven't heard from in a while and suddenly we're interested in again and we want to hear from it. We want to see how they're doing. This is an extremely karmic time and we're going to be dealing with a lot of unaddressed issues within a relationship. Um, the Gemini energy really helps us to focus on um, focus in on there what's previously been said, especially if you're in relationships or you're dealing with somebody from the past, somebody that's coming back in. This Jupiter um, retrograde here in Capricorn has you looking back really on your beliefs um, that inform really your view of the world there, and it's going to retrograde until September 13th. We have Saturn starting its retrograde as well in Aquarius, and it will move later on into Capricorn and retrograde until September 29th. So this is going to bring up a lot of our limitations, our restrictions, our anxiety, our fear in relation to really our um, responsibilities maybe um, are going to be very tested and we're going to be forced to learn more responsibility and how to step up to the plate on things, you know, where we have needed to. Um, it could be very hard but valuable lessons here and offers us to really change um, and offers us to really recognize and admit the problem and work on it. So that's the astrology right now. We're going to get into the tarot, okay? Hey Capricorns, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's look at your May 11th through 17th tarot scope here. We're going to be looking with my classic Rider weight deck, my oldest deck here. We already have some cards out. This is an interesting week as we move into all this retrograde energy, I'm realizing. <laughs> for every sign that I've read so um, read for so far. All right. Let's see. A lot of major arcanas have been out on the table today. All right, cool. So let's check. Let's uh let's take a look here. Nine of Wands and Five of Swords is your theme of the week here. That kind of combination feels a little bit defensive. We'll just say that feels a little defensive in the face of some fighting, in the face of seeing things from different perspectives. We're gonna feel very attacked. If people even want to give us, you know, constructive criticism this week, it's going to be taken as you're attacking me and my principles and I have to stand up strong against you. I've been through this, this and this. And I'll tell you, you know, you don't get to say this about me or you don't get to assume this about me. There's a lot of um, defending our boundaries, it feels. So just watch out for that kind of energy. It's going to feel really defensive this weekend. You're, you're going to feel like your principles, who you are and how you see and do things is, is under attack right now. But you have to understand, you know, the astrology right now, we're hitting all of this retrograde energy at once this week. Um, if you didn't listen to the astrology at the beginning and you skipped this part, do check that out because that's definitely at play in the reading. So far, it's pretty big. Um, and definitely check out Cam White. I really enjoy his interpretation and ex explanation on the astrology, um, as well as what is it, my astrology TV. She's really um, adorable and helpful as well. But let's check this out here. The devil and the star are what you're feeling this week, your emotional self. The devil is actually you, um, your card. So I actually don't mind seeing that upright. It also feels very... Um, 
But like with this combination, you're very in focus here on your more negative aspects, yet you also see it in a, in a lighter way. You're not beating yourself up for it. You're like, let's heal. Let's, you know, look at a more hopeful future for how to deal with these things. Let's um, work through some situations that we might feel a little bit stuck and trapped in or that we're not so proud of. You know, we're seeing the good and the bad of the situation, but I also feel emotionally you're dealing with this a little bit better than maybe um, other signs. You're kind of on top of it, if not a bit harsh and defensive. Expensive. Uh, but you are looking and trying to heal yourself in the best way possible. You are trying to um, instill just a lot of spiritual growth into how you are approaching things this week and how you're feeling. Um, your career isn't looking so bad here with the King of Cups and the Magician. Uh, we're feeling emotionally kind of awakened. Um, it feels like creativity, creatively here a little bit. You might want to, you know, communicate some things about work. You might just want to feel, you're just feeling very good, um, matured in a sense. And especially the way that you, you associate, you know, work and happiness and things like that. You're feeling a lot better about that. And earth signs have a tendency to really, we have a hard time separating our emotions from our work and we get very involved in that. So when things like, you know, that have to do with the material, the pentacles, especially work, don't work out, especially for you guys, Capricorns, you're kind of known to be a little bit work obsessed. So there is a more emotional, there's like a more emotional feeling to it this week, not in a bad way. It just feels like you're feeling very emotionally fulfilled with how you are approaching things and how, you know, you're now dealing with things, how you're going about things moving forward. And you're, you know, trying to enjoy work more and feel more emotionally attached to it. And you have all the tools necessary to do that. You might even be considering making some hobbies into work things or, you know, um, trying something new that you feel very emotionally attached to but there's a lot of growth there with career and emotion and our associations and how they interrelate there within us so that's i actually see this as a positive week for you maybe the scorpio full moon really helped you with that um two of pentacles here is in your relationships and love relationships and love are looking weird on all fronts for most signs this week so don't feel too discouraged it's not as bad as some other people's cards don't worry but two of pentacles and then the four of wands reverse, things are not feeling very balanced and great right now. Um, we don't feel like we have much to celebrate, but we're also not totally negative about it is what I feel. You know, two of pentacles is in flux. We're in transition. We're juggling a little bit here. We've got to, you know, do a little bit of work to keep this situation going. It's not perfect, but, you know, efforts need to be put in and finding a better way forward so that we're not constantly juggling. Figuring out what it is that we need to let go of in order for this to come back into balance is here. But um, there's no rush with it. And it says, you know, work it out over time here. There, you just need to juggle a little bit in terms of relationships, love, how we communicate, and um, really also how we express what we need and how comfortable we are in a situation. So if you're not comfortable in a situation, find, it's like you're working through why am I not happy with this? Why can't I just, you know, feel comfortable, happy and celebratory and, you know, at peace and in harmony where I'm at right now? What is off? What's wrong? And trying to figure out what that is for some of you, especially I'm getting for more single Capricorns. Your advice this week is not bad though. Wheel of Fortune for me, when that card shows up, especially in a placement of advice, it's like, you gotta wait this out. You've gotta give this more time right now. Things are in flux and changing and they might not feel 100% great, but you have to take the good with the bad as the wheel turns, you know, you're going to hit the negative spots as well as hitting the positive spots, you know, you're not always in the upper placement on the wheel there, you're not always in the placement of, you know, bringing in success, happiness, everything, but things are turning and they will get better and things might not make sense as they are in this um, state of flux right now in all this weird retrograde energy, but it is trying to tell you that there's a longer and bigger story here you know there's bigger things at play here you know we we're gonna have to wait longer when the wheel shows up here it's kind of an unfolding sense of purpose and unfolding awareness here um and an interrelation of everything that's been going on and why it is it's kind of like i feel like you guys will be hitting some intense like eureka moments not too far into the future but this week it's going to feel a little weird you know that things are moving towards something but not really able to place how, what, where, why, what's going to happen. So let's pull a Dorian Virtue card here. <laughs> Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So yeah, maybe if you're not satisfied with how things are and you don't feel that they're equal and balanced, it's time to have a conversation with your partner about that. 
and love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so if you're not okay with certain things and you haven't spoken up about it i definitely feel like with the venus retrograde um in gemini you're gonna be bringing out some things that need to be talked about uh, and we're gonna be tackling some things that we really need to work through but also it's gonna bring up a need to love ourselves first and be totally at peace with ourselves and in harmony with ourselves before we put ourselves into a relationship we can't seek out that harmony balance and love within somebody else we have to be that way first so there's a lot of you know disparity there in terms of you know oh maybe I actually need to work on some things that I didn't realize I needed to. Maybe I needed to work more on my self-love and self-respect here. And, you know, that can involve standing up for yourself, but it could also just involve giving more love to yourself here. And that in turn gives you a chance at a relationship that uh, maybe you didn't think you had a chance at before that you didn't think was coming. So let's pull a Lynn V. Andrews Power Deck card. I'm sorry about the monthlies this month. I'm trying to get them all done. I have a lot of work on the side here, even outside of tarot right now. So I'm doing my best, guys. Um, if I don't get all the May monthlies out this month, know that I will absolutely be doing June ones. Um, it's just I have to prioritize, prioritize what's more important here. And unfortunately, that's my livelihood. So I kind of have to put art and animation first. <laughs> Okay, what's this? Force. All right, and look at all these horses. Force lives in your will and comes from your intent. Life is a process of pulling back your bow, aiming your arrow, choosing a target, and shooting. The green quality of the force with which you choose your target and shoot determine your power and your success. Force is built through your integrity of purpose, your physical tuning, and your balance of spirit and mind. By naming your act of power, you create force. Follow your innermost passions in life. Empower your will and your strength of force by manifesting your secret dreams. Ooh. Beautiful messages here, Capricorn. I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed week. Do be sure to subscribe. Do be sure to leave me a like, a comment, guys. I love hearing from you, and I really appreciate all of your support. If you do want to book a private reading, guys, I am still doing 20% off of all of my readings right now. So take advantage of that, and all the information on booking is in the description box below this video. Um, also guys, if you were interested in getting, you know, an astrology analysis, a compatibility analysis, a numerology analysis, Truly Divine is a really incredible, incredible site that offers all of these things. And they're more in depth than any other astrology chart analysis that I've gotten, any other birth chart thing I've gotten, a compatibility, numerology, like they blew them all out of the water. I cannot tell you how impressed I was. It was like 17 pages of information that was so on point. It was crazy. So do check them out, guys. You can use my code DIKU30 as many times as you like and give it to as many people as you like and always get 30% off um, of your orders through them. So check that out, guys. And have a wonderful and blessed week. Namaste.